He looked every inch the pop star as he emerged from his blacked out Mercedes, but the performance which followed had none of the glitter which gave him his name. He was nervous and looked drawn as he posed for the cameras at an extraordinary meeting with the media arranged at a crossroads in London's Regent's Park. The police, after a series of anonymous death threats, were taking no chances and sealed off the area as the former rock star told the world he was sorry for what he'd done. I deeply regret doing what I was sent to prison for. I've served my time. I want to put it all behind me. And live my life. His time in prison had clearly taken its toll. There was none of the bounce in his step, which characterized his daily arrivals at court to face charges of possessing indecent photographs and sexually assaulting a 14-year-old fan. He was cleared of that charge. The fan, now aged 34, says he should have spent longer in jail. Do you think the children in those pictures can put it behind them? Do you think other victims, of a, not just necessarily him, but other victims don't put it behind them? Unfortunately, it's with you forever. It's a life sentence. Where are you going now? To the many questions, Glitter had no answer. The law requires that he's listed on a sex offender's register for the next seven years, but it's thought he'll now leave the country, possibly to settle in Cuba. Harry Smith, ITN, Central London.